getting ready to go in and start the day. Brush my teeth and get the day started. Three twenty-six. Thirty-minute commute to work. Follow me along. Let's go through this journey together. Pulling up to the job, like 30 minute drive that we had to drive out here. Pulling into the gate. Gotta scan the badge just to get in. Gotta scan the badge twice to get in. This is what it looks like to get into Pepsi. FYI, if everybody or anybody's wondering, this is what the parking lot looks like. Pretty busy today for it to be 4 a.m. park this far but it'll do so basically what I gotta do is I gotta go in here and picks are based off of seniority so based I'm basically at the end on the seniority list so I have to pick basically the bottom route so after I pick the bottom route I'll show you guys that route show you guys what needs to be done and you guys are going to follow me through my day through everything i'm going to show you guys every single thing throughout the day so if you're wondering on how everything looks when you're a pepsi driver i'm going to show you that and i will show you literally just everything so just follow me along Three stops on the first one. I got a Walmart, a Myers, and another Myers. And then I gotta come back with the truck after doing the first load and get it reload for three more stops. Not too bad. Gotta find my truck now. This is what the route looks like. And this is what a Pepsi plant looks like. Anybody wondering? You didn't know Pepsi owns everything. All this pop. Yep, gotta find my truck. I gotta get an electric pallet jack to move all these pallets. And I gotta deliver to these grocery stores. So our route number is 880. Gotta make sure you find 880. A79. So we look right here. Find out our number. None of these are it. This is what the inside of a truck looks like, if you're ever wondering. It's only about two, four, six, eight, ten pallets. It's far from what I got. I got 25 pallets. So, gotta find our truck. And this is what, what the warehouse looks like. So basically gotta find the truck I'm in, I gotta get an electric pallet jack to move all these pallets around when I start my day. All right, it's too early because I didn't went to the wrong place. <laughs> so let's go actually find this truck this time. Anytime someone's returning pop or anything, 
this is where it goes, and this is how it looks. So I gotta go to the other building and find this truck. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm definitely losing it because the truck was parked over there. I'm definitely losing it because the truck was definitely over there. But it's all good. I'm paid by the hour, so it ain't too bad. I ain't too concerned. Like I said already, I'm gonna do 10 hours regardless. I don't care if I'm done at six. I'm gonna get 10 hours. Then we got our pallet jack that we gotta use. Electric pallet jack. So it's really no hard work. All right, so basically, like I was saying, easy day. People think if you got if you work at Pepsi and you're a truck driver, it's stupid, or any company like that, because you got to throw the cases. But a lot of times, it's not too bad. You can actually use an electric pallet jack. Electric pallet jack. You don't, you don't got to test no cases. I'm using the electric pallet jack right there. You see my finger? It's kind of dark in here. And I just got to knock out all these cases. I mean, all these pallets right here. I said I got 25 pallets for three stops. It's going to be super easy. And for all my off-white lovers, look, Pepsi got their own. Pepsi got their own. You can put them on your shoes if you want to. I should put them on the work boots, shouldn't I? Nah, I'm just kidding. All right, we locked and loaded. One thing you should always do as a truck driver, I don't care if you're driving a box truck, semi, cargo van, hot shot, or even your car. You gotta get in the habit of doing a pre-trip. So we gotta get inside our truck, turn all our lights on, check all our fluids, make sure everything is correct, running good, before we hit that road. It's all about safety. You gotta make sure you're safe on the road so you don't hurt anyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out my pre-trip. Truck. International. See, lights working. Check the tires. Make sure the tires are good. Make sure the lights are working on the trailer. Check both sides. I'm gonna pop the hood, make sure the hood. Make sure all my fluids are good, correct. It's the proper level. My lights are working. Kick those tires, check those tires. Mind you, for anybody in the comment section saying, hey, he's not doing a proper pre-check or pre-trip. Listen, I'm just showing you guys real quick. Lights are working. When I pull out of here, I'm gonna check my brake lights as well. But just make sure to do your pre-trip. I don't care how long you've been driving. We're using different trucks and trailers every single day. So we gotta make sure our truck and trailer is good for a pre-trip and a post-trip for the next guy that hops in this truck and this trailer. So they're safe and everybody is safe as well. I go in on my phone. They all give us a work phone that we use. And I gotta make sure I do my pre-trip on my phone. The pre-trip, it tracks all my hours and everything needed for work. And then at the end of the day, I also do a post trip. So this phone throughout the day is my lifeline. I gotta put in exactly what truck I have and what trailer matches when I do my pre-trip. All right, so we pulled up to our first stop. We got a Walmart. See Walmart truck here. We gotta hit this dock right here. All the way up here. 
plenty of space. I'm the backup king, so that ain't nothing. But basically, I'm gonna get right there. Yeah, I can back up. <laughs> I could back up from here to work if I wanted to. I'm the backup king, I'm trying to tell you. Drop, drop backup king in the comment section down below. Call me the backup king. Easy work, easy work. So, they are getting, I gotta pick up one pallet of returns and also they're gonna get four pallets. So, when delivering to Walmart, a lot of times they have what's called an audit. So if they're scanning those four pallets, sometimes we run into an issue where they have to manually scan a bar barcodes that I have to be printed out to make sure everything is incorrect. A lot of people don't like taking Walmarts, but it's not bad if you ask me. All this stuff is easy. It's better than throwing cases. Super easy. Should take us only about 30 minutes. We should be out of here by 6 o'clock. Four pallets, one pallet to return. And a lot of times when we're done, they have pallets like outside, like as you see right here, that you have to take back. Make sure they have to take those back because... They'll call in. Yeah, we don't want to deal with that. See, I might even have pallets over there. Come in. So we have no pallets. That's good. Ring the bell and just wait. All right, so unfortunately I wasn't able to record the four pallets I pulled off, but we got shells. Basically I had to use the shrink wrap. Use that shrink wrap, wrap all of this. So when the truck is moving, they don't fall over. Take all these pallets back and put them inside of the truck. Look how easy it is. Super easy work. Only thing that will get tired is my thumb. This is honestly one of the easiest jobs ever. Picked up these shells. And then we also picked up some damages. So, some out of day stuff right there. Basically, we pull the pallets in, counter steer it. Drop them down. Put a paddle jack back around. Sorry if you can't see that well. Put the paddle jack right in between the two pallets. Turn it off and we're good. And we make sure, see, it's a stop number two. So we cleared out stop number one. And as y'all can see back there, a company does not know how to wrap. So I'll probably be picking up those two liters later on, unfortunately, but we got two more stops until we, we got one more stop until we get to that. It looks like stop number three. So that'll be, that'll be fine. That's it for this stop. Just gotta get him the receipt, close up, pull off, head to the next stop. And just like that, we're out. Walked in at 817, leaving out at 541. Four pallets, delivered, picked up a pallet of shells, and picked up some damages. Super easy. Headed to stop number two. Backup King recording. Oops, I mean, reporting back to duty. Another dock we took. I had, I like to test myself. Should do a practice makes perfect. I'm not the best driver. I'm just playing around when I say backup king. Could have took those two docks, but I chose this one. 
Just to practice, man. Gotta have fun out here. They have, we're at Meyer. just so you know, if you're not from Michigan or Ohio, I think, or Indiana, you probably don't know what it is, but it's just like a Kroger. They have two pallets, seven pallets, two pallets. So they got 11 pallets. So this is the fun part of the job. They got 11 pallets. But are they gonna fit? Probably fit one right here, one right there. They really don't wanna go above that line even though those are one, two, that's coat. I only see room for two pallets, but we'll see what's gonna happen. Cool. So they're getting next. Oop, probably too high, probably can't see. They're getting the next 11 pallets. This one here, you saying? Right here. I got you. Gosh, you got you. Super easy stuff here. Now we speed the process. Go let us out. Super easy. Easy day today. getting worse and worse the more we drive. I'm gonna have to stack that pallet once we get to our next stop. Really, it only takes one hand. One hand. Job is so easy. Stack it right next to it. Super easy. We'll be out of here in 20 minutes, if that. Just hope we don't have an audit. Drop in the comment section, no audit. No audit, no audit. Very repetitive. Still, but other than that, it's all good. Super easy, super easy stuff right here. I can't drive today. But yeah, as you can see, super easy stuff. Super duper easy. I think my five-year-old nephew can do this. Literally super easy. Change of plans. It looks like they only got six pallets out of 11. The rest of the stuff you see right here, including this pop that we're gonna have to pick up, is the rest. That's, that's all for stop three. Two, four, six, eight, ten pallets for stop number three. So what that means is the rest of this order is out of stock, unfortunately. Yep, and they got 10 pallets at the next stop. So, the rest of this stuff is out of stock. So, easy peasy, only six pallets, and we're heading to the next one. Quick update. This guy's taking 
<laughs> a very, very, very long time. It's all good though. Got this pallet here. We gotta set it right there by the Gatorade. I gotta throw one more pallet over here. And then we're out of here. Headed to stop number three. I'll put that one more Gatorade pad right here on this other end and then just leave everything else over there and then we're out of here. Alright, if you can't tell already by the change of scenery, you can see it's light out now. I'm finally out of that Meyer store. Headed to my last stop on my first truck. It's a... Uh, what is it? 12 minutes away. So it's not too bad. And then I gotta do... Uh, go back to the plant. Get a reload with stops on it and then we're done for the day last stop on the first one not too bad they're getting 10 pallets let's knock this out and it's only 7 13 so we're making good timing we got about seven more hours for me to get 10 hours i'll be done way before that knew i was gonna have to restack this pallet this the end of the, this the end of the stuff on the first truck, first uh, truck. But kind of scared to pull these pallets out because I know that all that's gonna fall. But it should be a quick stop. I do this stop pretty often, so it should be pretty easy. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. Let's see what this pallet looking like. Okay, so it's not too bad. I'll just take all that off. Slide it over to the right. That's what I'll do. I'll cut it before I take this pallet, restack it, pull it out, and then rewrap it and we'll be good. So it's not as bad as I thought. This still is a pain. Yeah, it still is a pain. All these other pallets are good, so. It's kind of good news. It looks a lot better than I thought. So we'll be good. Whew. We're back in the game. I rewrapped the pallet. So now I shouldn't fall. We should be good. But listen, li literally, that's the hardest part of the day. It's just really wrapping the pallets. That's it. That's the hardest part. Other than that, electric pallet jack. Let's knock the rest of this out. Before, after. This shit ain't going nowhere. Gotta wrap this one. I got another one down there. I need to wrap. The world said, look, we empty. We empty, gotta go back, put another 11 pallets in here and we good. Got the paperwork, we good. Taking out to the plant to get our last last three stops, get reloaded, finish out the day. Hit the dock. Gotta go in here, pull the pallets off, and get reloaded back with the other remaining three stops. Finally got situated. I had to get my um, route added back to the server. For some reason it wasn't working. And I think I'm missing a bunch of pallets. 
But look, Pepsi everywhere. Go in here, see what's going on. See how many pallets we got. It's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine pallets we got in here. Go knock out the rest of this. It's 9.41. We'll be back by one o'clock. Even well before that. Go in here. Put this pallet in between the other two. I'm not sure if y'all can see this, but Pick up this pallet right here. Lock it in between them other two. Turn it off. We are good. Gotta hit this dock. See how tight it is right here. All this right here, right here. Then I, it's a scissor dock, it ain't a normal type of dock. So I gotta back down there and whip it out. I'll show you how it's done. I told you I do this back and stuff. See how close it is to the pole. This is the dock. This dock is a little weird. Hit this up. It raises up. It lands right on there. And I don't even know how many pallets they got. They have two pallets. Put it on. Yeah, they got these two pallets. Load it up here. I gotta go right on here. That's it, two packs. Two more stops. On to the next one. I got the next stop. How's it going? Doing good. How you doing? All right. Two, you two pallets. Two? Yep. Oh, wow. It's not as bad as last time. I was just going to say, I don't like anything's falling over. No. No, three. I'm sorry. Three pallets. Three. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. Yeah, three. I'm sorry. He's like, is it one full water? Is yep. That yep, it's yours. Yep. This one here is a little bit different. They don't have a dock, but it's all good. They got a, they got a high low, so. You gotta test your skill. Drop it right there at the end. You got anxiety, it's gonna be tough. Drop it right there at the end. Yeah. Scoop it up any day, man. Super easy. So we got these other two pallets. Real easy. So, knock out these three pallets. I got a sheet that we gotta check, go down the list and check everything, make sure everything's good. Once it is, I go up front and get the check. That's it. Knocked it out. This was a different account as far as 
how they pay everybody else's charge where you just sign them they had to pay via check so i had to make sure to get the check and then also they have a company that picks up their bottle returns here in michigan you have to um you get 10 cents you get charged 10 cents when you buy pop and then you can turn it in to get your 10 cents back at the store at stores like this so that's how a lot of these stores out here in michigan pay for their order is with uh bottle returns so i had to give them credit for that and then get the check off to the last stop and it's only 10:44, which is not bad at all like i said i'm gonna work my 10 hours so i'm gonna work till two o'clock i'll run to that next stop knock that out and then just take my time for the rest of the time clock out at two o'clock and we're good last stop of the day last stop of the day doc warriors yeah no another doc another doc I think they got like four or five pallets and we done i'm honestly like 10 minutes away from the plant so i'm gonna knock this out pull out and just take my time gotta get those 10 hours gotta make it make sense if it don't make dollars it don't make sense Y'all can't even see. Get this light. Four pallets and we done. That's it. Done. What is it? 11.21. Not bad, but I got, I gotta waste another two, two and a half hours, so. Before I got back, I had to take a, a pit stop at the legendary one and only. If you can see it, Captain Jags. Let me show y'all. Just a couple pieces. It's that lemon pepper. Fries with lemon pepper. Probably won't use it, but that lemon pepper is good enough. Head back to the plant, get checked out. Probably get back still early and just chill, eat for the rest of the day. Uh, end of the day. Basically, just got to pull up. Come on, camera pull up here if we on book if we on a regular route we pull in there throw our bags they pull off all the pallets whatever but since we on book we pull up here give her our phone sometimes she comes out opens the doors checks everything make sure i got what i say in the hand in the truck if not she just checks it from here this is the warehouse inside this is where we throw the bags at right there coolers water all that and then this is where they check us in at. So I'm really give her my phone and she's gonna check me out real quick. Real easy. Then after this, we just gotta turn in the paperwork and we done. Easy, easy day. That's it. Done for the day. Parked our truck. Lined it up so the guys can get it. Now I gotta just punch out. If you ever wonder what it looked like in a Pepsi yard, trucks and trailers everywhere. Now I just gotta turn in all the paperwork. Just turn in everything, all my paperwork, all my checks and everything. Sit down, enjoy this Captain J's. And honestly, that's it. That's the day in the life of a Pepsi driver.